guys. We're out here at the Kentucky State Fair. It's the D. Huff and Nasty Show. Checking out a little, little pig life. That's all I'm saying. Hey, look, it's D. Huff and Nasty Show it's, on Sunday. It's, it's, it's after, after a few cocktails on Sunday. It's the D. Huff and Nasty Show. Thank you, man. Welcome back to the D Hub and yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. For today? Uh, what, well, yesterday. Was yesterday was the day. Uh, we saw uh, some interesting yes, things. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We as you, talk saw, about, as you just saw some of our friends, some new friends we just uh, had on there. Yeah. Uh, what are we going to do today? Uh, we got lots to get to today, but not a lot of time to get to it, which seems to be a theme for us. But, uh, Always. Uh, we were at the Kentucky State Fair yesterday. We got lots of fun stuff before, during, and after this for you to check out. We got, uh, we got some thoughts. <laughs> we got a we got an unfortunate moment with God or two. Uh, we got some more footage for you. Uh, we got uh, tropical storm news. Tampa, watch out, kids. Uh, Look out. Could be. We got a little bit of riding dirty as we always do, and then we you know we got some keep it simple stuff. So keep it simple. But uh, we uh, we went out the other day. Uh, yesterday we went out to the Kentucky State Fair, which was the first time I'd ever been there. I want to thank you uh, you guys uh, for taking me out there. It was quite an eye opener. <laughs> I met new friends. I smoked some things. I touched some things. I made, I saw a country, I huh? made derby pie, fried Kool Aid things. <laughs> You'll see that here in just a little bit. Uh, but what a day we had! We we made new friends in the in the barn. We've got a couple of pigs that, uh, well, they were friends of ours yesterday, but tomorrow they won't be. <laughs> yeah, some of them so, were uh, happy. Some weren't. <laughs> so, yeah, that's good. so I went to go. I got to go to a uh, Jake Owen concert yesterday, which was uh, interesting. I'd never been to a country show, and uh, I tell you what, he was entertaining. Well, I mean, when he started rapping, it was just like, rapping. wow. We got, we got a little Beastie Boys action in there. We got a little bit of Thin Lizzy up in that joint. God bless. Uh, God bless the USA. Uh, Al Green, or what was the name? Like Mike, uh, what Lee Greenwood. Lee Greenwood, thank you. Al Green. Al Green. Al Green. <laughs> well, you know, he might be a little different. Himself. Anyway, it sound uh, a little different. we owe you two things. Uh, first of all, there was an answer that we posed the other day uh, on our last show about the Travers uh, that my friend had done some research on. Uh, the question was... Uh, how many years they had been running the Traverse Stakes, and I'll let you just uh, go ahead and give me the answer. The answer is to the Civil War, 1865. That's a long time it's to a run long a race. Time. It's a bit, it's been, they call they refer to it as the Midsummer's Classic. Midsummer uh, Derby is what they refer to it as. Uh, that's this weekend, by the way. Uh, that's a and, long time. Um, a lot of people work for us. Uh, we'd like to call them liaisons. That's a, that's a little hint as to who I like for the Traverse, folks. Uh, but we'll have a full Traverse report uh, on. Monday. Oh, no, no, we won't. We will have it right here. That's my pick, liaison. And I know you like that horse, too. So I like speed. Yes, so liaison, speed. definitely. So, so anyway, uh, and, uh, my thought of the day is um, after we spent, we met some pigs in the last, <laughs> yesterday, we became friends with pigs. Which yesterday. ones? Well, they were all my friends. I was in there rolling around with them. You saw it. Um, you know, the, but they, they eat, they sleep, they roll around and get fat. My, my question is, are they really any different than humans except they don't last as long? Yeah. It's, <laughs> I mean, we we saw obesity at its fullest. So Can you imagine if you got a certain if you got a certain weight, that was what happened to humans. <laughs> what would happen? Oh, it would if we ran out of food. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Uh, so, uh, and after, after, after working at the barbecue joint, I realized what really was going on yesterday. So it was an interesting perspective for me to be out there. So we were like, man, anyway, you have a bad let, fate let, coming. Let, here. Let's check this moment with God out here, buddy. What's uh, let, we got? To, go ahead. <sighs> Okay, this is, this is interesting, Little man. Baseball. This is very interesting. First Little of all, baseball. it should be noted that in Little League Baseball, they can still use aluminum baseball bats. Well, actually, let me go. That's aluminum. Yes. Anyway, on with your story. Dude. Okay. On with your New Jersey teenager, right. Stephen Dombalewski. Dombalewski, yeah. Name, name, name. He was left brain damaged mm -hmm. after he was struck by a line drive. Hit in the head. So, his family sued. Little League Baseball, the manufacturer... And the sporting goods chain and won fourteen point five million dollars. You know what I say to that, D Huff? Hit me with a line drive. Yeah. Hit me in the nuts. 
What's next? <laughs> I mean, you can sue for anything. Oh my god, you can sue for anything in this country. I mean, That's, everybody wants a free ride anyway. Isn't it we're, we're, play at own risk? No, Isn't I really that shouldn't. the reason? Isn't that? Well, you know, it's it, how can you? It's like if you go out and get in a car accident because you were drunk. That's the manufacturer of the car's fault. Yeah, that makes no sense to me. Yeah, but the kid's gonna get fourteen point five million, and, and like I said, I can't you know, I tell you what, fourteen point five million. I'll talk about losing things, limbs, joints, fingers. Well, they say he's got a lot of medical bills. You can actually cut my nuts off. Fourteen point five million. You can have them. That's all I'm saying. Fourteen point five million. You can have my nuts. He's, yeah, he you doesn't have, want to you, use you them can, anyway. You, you can have my C and B. For those of you who don't know, that's high balls. Yeah, you can just, you can have them both. I'm telling you. Just, just patch million. it up. Just put like spackle over it and give me fourteen five. You got to look what's going on over here. Yeah, so no, uh, yeah, we just got, give him a broadway. But we do have uh, we do have one more. Little League Baseball is safe, so I don't know why they're, you know, it's an interesting situation. It's just weird that, that they would win that. Were you bullied in high school or in college or in... I was made bullied fun of you in grade school. You didn't continue in college in high school? No. I got bullied in college. No. Until, no. until, I, until I rose up and then I wasn't bullied. Is that for yourself? <laughs> yes. Well, someone stole something from my house in my, my uh, house in college and... Uh, and uh, they didn't uh, they didn't like what happened after that. But we, uh, you know, I still that still effectively <laughs> ends bullying. <laughs> so uh, but we, we, have, <laughs> we do have a moment, guy. But that's not yet. Yeah. Oh, that, that's okay. So that's yeah. Oh, yeah. that's what we're leading into. Yeah. We, we were. Yeah, we're right we, here. Uh, we, we, okay. Tell me, because I'm lost. Um, this just happened. Oh, this yesterday, is uh, seventh grader, twelve year old Noah Grawmeyer killed himself yesterday, mm -hmm. and they believe it's because. Of bullying at school. Do you think it was Facebook? He didn't want to go to school yesterday. Do you think it was Facebook bullying? I think it was at school. He didn't want to go to school. And he actually left a note and says you know, he I'd apologized like to, to his family. So, you know, I don't know. That's just... I'd like to go to these schoolyards and just sit back and watch and see when the bullying happens. And I'd like to have a little conversation with some of these bullies. Yeah. But anyway, um, we were doing some investigative reporting while we were out at the fair yesterday, too. So I'd like you to take a look at this. Let's check it out. If you like it. We have a NASA show. We're back here. Uh, we're swining it right now. As you can tell. Check it out. Uh, we're the D Hub and NASA shows out here at the State Fair. We got some stuff drying back behind us here. Unfortunately, this is not what I wish it was. It's actually tobacco in droves here at the State Fair. Uh, we actually compete for who has the best tobacco. As you can see, this is uh, some of the best you've ever seen. We'll be right back with you. We got all kinds of stuff today here at the uh, Kentucky State Fair. Uh, we're out here at the uh, Kentucky State Fair, Louisville, Kentucky, and we're making, what are we making here today, buddy? Uh, we're making some deep fried derby pie. Deep fried derby pie. Mm, my heart hurts just thinking about it. But uh, anyway, all we got here is uh, the gold uh, Kentucky Louisville Classic Kentucky Derby Pie. Delicious batter, fresh into the hot oil. And as you can see, he's got a line out the door here. So what's the name of the stand here, bud? The uh, deep fried Kool-Aid stand. Deep, deep fried Kool-Aid stand right here at the square, right outside of Freedom Hall. Come on out and join them. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for time. Anyway, we're here with our uh, amateur cameraman, D Huff, all over the place. Sorry about the shaking and stuff like that, but we're out here in front of the Kentucky Kingdom, and as you can see, they've locked us out. It's like Griswolds around here. We thought we were going to get here and ride the rides, but they uh, locked us out. But there's a rumor, from what I understand, that they're opening this joint back up. Stay tuned. D Huff and Nasty Show. <laughs> <laughs> oink, 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 little piggy, you fired up. He was uh, not very happy. But... Yes, but you know what? Whether a pig's happy or not doesn't matter because uh, I think his fate. Well, we'll just show you. What we'll show you what happens. Then. Anyway, speaking of uh, rumblings and things in the in the uh, in the nature, uh, Mother Nature's getting ready to get pissed off again. More yes. of this, more of this. I tell you, the, Isaac. Her, I'm telling you, what is it? Hurricane Isaac. Tropical hurricane. Tropical no, but... storm. Tropical storm. Isaac. It's building South Florida. Watch out. Board them up. They're expecting it to. Possibly be in Tampa for the Republican National Convention next week. Tampa's yeah. not really South Florida, though, but that's, I mean... It's still considered South Florida. Yeah, so. you know, Category 2 hurricane and a Republican National Convention mm. is going to be interesting. Mm. Uh, and more good news. Uh, more good news. More yeah. good news uh, the, down in Florida and Tampa. Um, as some of you know and some of you don't know, I have no idea. Uh, there's a strip down there that the Motley Crue boys wrote a song about, Girls, 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 in Tampa. That's all strip clubs. And they're excited because the Republican National Convention is coming to town, and they said they double, almost triple, their earnings the weeks that they're in town. <laughs> what I say to that is, go Republicans. <laughs> these, are, these are the people that want to lead this country. They're spending boatloads of money watching strippers take their clothes off. Nice. 
That's awesome. What, you, what else do you think they're spending their money on while they're down there? You know what That's they're saying? What's Championship. <laughs> oh, and, and, and a funny side story with that. Uh, more good news. The uh, Asian scientists have discovered <laughs> there's an illness that replicates uh, just as fast as AIDS, and it emulates AIDS, and that it's an immune deficiency virus. But you don't have to touch another human or have human contact to get it. You can just get it just like a cold. Perfect to of. It's killing people. It's yeah. killing people and it's coming this way. And you know what's funny about that? Where do you think the United States gets all their food from, or the more, majority of their food imported from Asia, the Middle East? Well, that and every clothing, anywhere. <laughs> well, we don't care about clothing because it's, you know, whatever. But I'm talking it's about airborne. That. It doesn't matter. Oh, so, well, that's yeah. true. So. Uh, so anyway, we got more good stuff to look forward to there, um, and then we got a riding dirty. We got a, kind of a riding dirty section slash whatever that to end it up with. So let's get right to it. Yeah, Bartolo. You knew he was looking good, and he was looking fat. Yeah. He uh, takes a year off after a horrible year. Comes back, he's throwing ninety-seven miles an hour. He's ten and nine. He's ten. Well, last year he was throwing ninety-seven miles an hour, and all the other coaches were like, "This something's something's a little." He's having like career. Some of his are career. The investigative year. team. We'll bring you the story. That's all I'm saying. This guy or this guy, one or the other. Bartolo Colon, 50 game suspension, just like uh, Gabrera. You know, you can't play dirty, you can't ride dirty. It's in a Bay Area. It's, it's, Bay Area game. Yeah, but you know what? Oakland doesn't matter. Oakland's not going anywhere. They're a half game out of the play. They're not going anywhere. Trust me. Trust me. I'll, I'll, take, I'll, take that, I'll take that money across the board. Well, I mean, now. So right. let's get through this meaningless. Just, to, say, just to let you know. Yeah. He was supposed to start tonight. If he had started tonight, he, yeah, had, 250, he had a $250,000 bonus if he pitched tonight. Gone. Great. Anyway, on with, our, on with the rest of our, this silliness. Lois Goodman. She's a tennis referee. She was actually waiting for the U.S. Open in yeah. New York. And they arrested her. About that. For murder charges. Yeah. She killed her husband. She's supposedly. <laughs> yeah. Supposedly. Well, how'd you do it, do you have? Uh, they said it with a coffee mug. <laughs> Beat him to death. Bludgeoned him to death with a coffee mug. That's going back to that whole... That That's, whole uh, Women are crazy. Everyone no, the coffee them. thing. The <laughs> coffee tip you had a couple while back, where they used to you drank coffee, you got murdered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Coffee's no good apparently. Yeah. And then over at the uh, Tour de France, uh, the 50th anniversary of the Tour de France. Uh, but just a, it was a it's a 50th anniversary tour in France of the Ferrari. Oh, half gets the point. Good lord, we're already. Dude wrecked, wrecked his thirty million dollar. Thirty million dollar car. He wrecked his thirty million dollar car. Thirty million dollar car. He wrecks it, and you know what? It wasn't probably even a thing to him. No. I mean, it's probably upsetting. Like if I was to wreck my car yeah but, but of course that would ruin my world right now so uh but we got a lot more footage to get to so let's just talk about this what, what's going on here uh, uh, the, tell me about this kid which one Brittany eisen uh, either one but just, uh, she just, was just uh, pretend like we don't she have hit time. she hit somebody on a motorcycle and then went to work at burger king worked a full shift <laughs> oh she was a girl who is oh, oh yeah yeah she <laughs> ran over somebody on the expressway just run them over go to work flip burgers yeah. take orders and pretend, Act like nothing. pretend like nothing ever happened so uh, and then one last final note, and then uh, we got to get out of here. We have uh, Rodney King. Apparently, there's a there's some foul play. No, no, they're saying it wasn't. They're they're suspecting that it was his own fault. Yeah. So it wasn't foul. <laughs> foul play on his own. Part. Foul play with the story is what yeah. we're saying. So apparently, you PCP cocaine marijuana. How do you have PCP cocaine and marijuana in your system? That's what I want to know. Can't we just do one drug at a time? Can we just keep like the PCP? Let's just tonight we'll do just PCP. Right. How about tonight we do marijuana? I mean, neither one of us mess with any of the illegals, but... Uh, I don't really understand, um, but you know... <laughs> but my motto for today's show, and my story for today's show, is keep it simple. Just like the pigs do. Just like just, you Just saw. like the pigs do. Uh, we want to thank you for joining the d Hut Nasty Show next week. Uh, we got... Uh, there's so much stuff going on, it's not even funny. But for Monday's show, we're going we're gonna to review the weekend sports activity. We're going to talk about being sexy and what you should wear to be sexy. And most importantly... We're going to Taylor Made Sales Agency. We're going to check out a few yearlings, and we're going to find out which one you want to buy on Tuesday. Miss uh, Miss Laura's going to guide us around there and show us some things. So stay tuned. Uh, we'll be back then. Uh, soon. So, uh, have a great weekend. Enjoy this music. As enjoy we the weekend. On out, and have a great weekend. A safe weekend. Battle of the Commonwealth you next do, weekend. Share it. Spread the word. We don't need to multiply. We don't need to multiply.